Awo, shalom. Salam, salam. Tehina is telling. Send that salam. Send that salam. Amen. That's my brothers and sisters. It's another Shabbat, another send that where our father says and our elder brother Yeshua HaMoshe, he reminds us that the, the Sabbath, the Senbet is made for man. Man is not made for the Senbet. So the Senbet, the Shabbat, <coughs> is for I and I benefit. And this right here, this is the 40th Sabbat, the 40th Senbet Shabbat, which is known as Balak. Balak. Now it's a very, very interesting um, parasha, a very interesting portion. And it continues um, from the previous portion. So it's a continual narrative and unfolding of situations and circumstances that can be viewed by some as historical or by I and I in the Moshiach as instructions in this dispensation, in this particular time and season. And it's very, very interesting, my brothers and sisters. Um, firstly, I wanted just to remind one that these, th these are the teachings, these are ways of communicating what I and I have learned, as well as what's out there that others can take advantage of because education is the key. Yet we need to build our and our house on a sure foundation. This is why, as one sister, sister, um, I think it's a uh, uh, lioness, she said, you know how knowledge puffs up. She reminded, and she made a comment on the, the sisterhood video, and that is true. The scripture says that knowledge puffs up. Does this mean that knowledge is wrong? No does not mean that knowledge is wrong or the pursuit of knowledge is wrong. But knowledge in and of itself without a proper spiritual, or as Ainai Rastafari would say, iritical foundation. So what is Ainai foundation? Ainai foundation is that foundation which no other foundation can be laid because that foundation is a sure foundation. That foundation is the foundation of the Moshiach is the foundation of Christos, of Jesus Christos Gitachin, of Adonenu Yeshua Ha Moshiach, our Black Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now, in that consciousness, with that recognition of the truth, we continue and we build. Now, I want to make a couple of points about. Um, for the discipleship, the Dekam is Amorit, as well as for discipleship studies. And some who have some who have um, sent in the applications have also followed up and asked, well, there was no response to the application, the discipleship application, so forth. There was no direct response. And all we can do at this present time is to ask for the ones and ones patient and we hope and pray that they're able to follow these studies on the YouTubes and on other media on the internet and be able to catch up with these right here because the foundation of discipleship is based on his word and that testimony and um, the other books documents that we've been working on, but yet this is perhaps the surest means of reaching out to the, the, the widest possibility, you understand, of brothers and sisters out there. All right, so um, let us get into this. Let us get into this particular teaching, right? And um, all right, let's get into this particular Torah. Let's get into this particular Torah portion. Pray the eyes. The wind, the wind is is a good breeze right now. But the weather, as many of you all know, the weather is is um, 
prophetic, to say the least. All right? So I want to touch on, I'm going I'm to I'm give a couple of verses. I want, there's a couple of verses I want to I wanna give the eye of them, as well as there's a couple of reminders that this particular format, this particular format is mainly for the teachings, it's mainly to communicate the, the parasha, the portions, to teach on them, and to, and to give each one and ones and ones the opportunity to be able to grasp it and follow up on these references so they can get to know the truth for themselves. Understand, um, an organization, a congregation, a nation, a family, is really dependent on the individuals in the family. And it's dependent on what is that spirit of the family, what sort of a spirit prevails over that particular family. Um, nowadays, they use the French, I think, expression, esprit de corps, the esprit de corps, or what is the spirit of the body? In other words, what is the spiritual, you know, you know what is the moods and attitudes and the spirits of ones and ones who are involved, or what is the prevailing spirit? Now, for I and I, it is to be the Memphis Caduce, the Holy Spirit, or even the Rastafari, we say the Isla Iris. So truly... I and I is a spirituality and truly a, quote, liberty. Now, the religious reasoning, we touched on the religious reasoning because it was important for us to, to, to show and prove the right relationship of things. You know what I'm saying? It's not a Rastafari, it's not a Roman religion, not a Greek religion, not a European religion in, quote, that sense. But legally speaking, yes, it is a faith or what they would call a religion. But from I and I root, from I and I truth, and based on I and I interpretation thereof. You understand? Know, it was based on our Ethiopic, our Hebraic, our ancient culture, our divine heritage. Now, there's some pointers I wanted to, to, to point out um, for the discipleship and for the studies. Now, I've been using some of these booklets, you know, to take notes. Please, brothers and sisters out there, and those who have sent forward discipleship applications, please make note of the fact that in discipleship studies, it's about learning the Word and learning it for yourself. So one has to put in that investment of, of, of time, you understand? And there's no better time than Shabbat time than the senbet time, you also to remember the senbet and to keep it set apart, to keep it kedus, 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 to keep it holy. Now, make a note of um, 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 14, verse 40, where it says, let all things be done decently and in order. So what is I and I, what is I and I? churchical order because the Holy Spirit is moving upon I and I to, to touch on this the, the subject matter of I and I churchical order and let me go to the other wing right here and just grab a couple of um, a couple of exhibits to, to show the eye and to um, better explain what it is that the Holy Spirit wants me to communicate so hold on for one moment So when we say to ones and ones, when we say to, grab your pen and your paper and your sacred scripture, what do we mean by that? Well, you have to study. That's the, I mean, that's the main thing. If we could take what we know and just put it on the next one, then it would be very easy. You know, but that is not, that is not the way that is not the truth, and that is not the life. Each of us have to put into, 
into effect our reasoning ability. And we have to also study to show in ourselves approved to God. And God is what? God is who? According to the scriptures, God is spirit. So if each of us puts in with, with, with true faith, you understand, and the true humbleness, as in the teaching of um, the initiation teaching, what we call the, the, the being born again, that's the real initiation, being born again. It's the repentance, and it's the new birth, and it's that growth, recognizing that the Torah, the Torah, the Orit, the law, as it is said, is our schoolmaster that brings us to Christ. It brings us to the true consciousness and the knowledge based on the true foundation. And no other foundation can be laid other than Getachni Jesus Christos, other than the Moshiach, Yeshua. You know what I'm saying? But it's very important to, to make sure we are viewing Yeshua in a proper orientation. Because the world has given us a disorientation, the whole whitewashing, the perversion of the gospel, so forth and so on. That's why it's so important to touch on those historical um, points over the past 400 plus years of what has gone on in the blasphemy of our Lord Adonai's name, Yosin, of his humanity, his 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 Ethiopian his blackness, you understand? Know because that is, see, here's where that touches even on this Torah portion, and when we read in the New Testament about the sin of Balaam or Balaam. But first of all, let's touch on a few of these points right here. So we have these these books because um, recently in some of the sisterhood reasoning and some of the born again reasoning. And now that we're more, we have made some progress, and, and some of these basic points, hallelujah, have been received, have been able to be seen, perceived, and received by many ones and ones. And many of these issues, many of these thorns, so to speak, many of these stones and, and weeds have been in Jah's field for quite some time, and they're still there, but now one's recognized them exactly for what they are. You understand? And if Jah says, leave it to the harvest, we leave it to the harvest. If Jah says to pull it up, we, we pull it up. But right now, according to his word, he says, leave that. In other words, leave those who want to deal with isms and schisms, say Rastaism, you understand? Leave them to themselves. This is why the whole separate be ye separate and deduce point in spirit and in truth. You know, and that means you can still, you know, uh, high and buy and, you know, reason on certain levels of ones and ones. But you have to recognize that if that one does not recognize the instruction of I and I father and the law of I and I mother, then truly I and I is not brethren and sistering and, and, and mother in truth. In spirit and in truth, you know, not judging by the so-called outer, you know, what I'm saying? but being able to perceive and and one's senses are able to discern because of the spirit and because of the word, because of the spirit and because of the truth. So, I was looking over some of the notes, and over the years, I've used like small um, booklets like this you know, to take notes, even sometimes carry a, a little book like this around, a little notebook, you know, these kind of little notebooks right here, carry a little notebook like this around, and here's some other ones, some of them are already filled up, this one here is a little older, it's a little, they, they call them little tough books, tough books, right, you know, tough books right here, you know, but they have different names, they have different kinds, different makers of them, and if you could you know, look through them, there's a bunch of names in it, even sometimes phone numbers from ones and ones. And one thing that's all often good when you when you're jotting down notes is to is to put dates, put certain dates on the notes. So if this note was from a particular time, it's just often good to put that little date in the margin or somewhere 
whether in a small notebook like this or a bigger notebook. So sometimes when some detailed questions are brought forward, um, in spirit we still can answer, but then we recall, Chan, those notes we have, we can really go into a full teaching, you know what I'm saying, on that, or we can use some references. We give thanks and praise to His Majesty and His Christ that he has caused us, even when we sometimes can't locate the specific notes, still in spirit and in truth, from the Word based on the basic tools, such as the Scripture, you understand, and, and, and the basic resources, such as the Spirit and the Holy Spirit, to refer to those matters of truth. But I point this out because as many of the Dekamis Amorit, many of the brothers and the sisters and, and the mothers have been Positive, positively, you understand, um, motivated, you understand, by the inspiration of the, of the teachings, you understand, not, not I and I inspiration, but the inspiration of the word of Jah through I and I and through this ministry, it's important to kind of touch on some of these points, to, to share with ones some of the better, um, you know, the better practices and procedures you understand, in discipleship, in one study. So these, these small booklets, you know, I would definitely suggest to the disciples, brothers and sisters, to get a, a few of these small booklets, maybe two or three, and to livicate them, to devote them, as one would say in the world, dedicate them, but we would say livicate them to the, the righteous purposes. In other words, as a notebook. I mean, you keep certain notes, of course, and then, and, you know, I've put phone numbers, I mean, and brother and a sister and over time so when I review it it kind of helps me to remember even clearer certain things or be reminded or even as evidence you understand just like you see the officers of Babylonian law they walk around so so-called police officers and we are officers we are to be officers of the kingdom of the king of kings and his Christ and they will take notes as we say we we're only here to but kick dragons, right, and take names, and, you know, you know, take names and, 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 and kick dragons. You always and it was take notes, take notes of certain things, whether from teachings or studies, because you might not always have what we consider right here the more, the more proper discipleship notebooks. Now, because our discipleship at the present time, because, uh, yeah, because our discipleship at the present time must be somewhat of a correspondence, you know, discipleship, where we communicate using, you know, using the, the media that we have, whether this media, whether video, whether audio, whether radio on and offline, or whether some of y'all with the jump off CDs and DVDs, taking these teachings, putting them together and circulating them and distributing them, um, whether through the emails or the website, we're still sorting through these new technologies, and we're not trying to get too caught up on the new technologies, but to continue in our studies so that we can continue in our growth and so that I and I may continue in I and I unity and in, in building on I and I common wealth on our divine heritage. So th this is a, a smaller book. I think I only have maybe one or two of these right here. This is pretty. This is pretty old right here. When I say pretty old, I've had this perhaps since. Let's see if I have a date. 1988. This particular book right here. This is 19. This is the 1988. Right. This is the 1988 book. And you can see I and I old name. What it says. Uh, um, the first name, the biblical name, um, Adonijah. Yo, Sam. But then, Jah said, put Jah first. And then we put Jah Adon, and then Jah sent I and I to the Word and to Nehemiah, I think three and seven. And so there was one named Yadon, Yovas, and then I said yes, Yadinos is also in the other books of of scriptures the same name, the, the Greek version we can say or the Coptic version is Yadinos, but the Hebrew version is Yadon. Right, of I and I new name. And in the Metaphysical Bible Dictionary, there was a very interesting personal um, revelation concerning, you know, um, 
you know, when you when you choose a, a good name or when Jah lays on your soul a good name, that name can tell you things, you understand, know about yourself vis a vis Jah and Jah's people. So this is very, very important and hopefully we'll be able to expound on that as well. So this is this is this is one of the books and we also put studies in it, but when we first started out, when we first started out in I and I teachings, you know, because it takes us, you know, individually if, if we can give advice to others and others can follow up on some of the advice that I and I, you know, is able to give, then, you know, they won't have to, you know, make the same mistakes, you know, or they can learn from I and I mistakes. Like the old saying says that any fool can learn from his own mistakes. And many of us have learned from our own mistakes, even if we were foolish and doolish. Yet a wise person, a wise man or woman, learns from the mistakes of others and can learn from the mistakes of others. All right? Now, these are a couple of the, we will say this, this is what we call the debtor, the debtor. The debtor, Bamarinya, means a, a, a notebook basically a notebook or a copy book, all right? We have the Nibar Beit in ancient Egypt. There was the, the, the house of the scribe, you understand, where the initiates were taught the science and the art of reading and writing, which is very, very fundamental, you understand, to everything else in so-called civilization. And in I and I civilization, I and I Ethiopian Hebrew civilization, our ancient culture, our divine heritage, the language is the key. So for discipleship, the language in the in the basic 33 degrees are the basic key. And we would like to go into that even in a, a little bit more detail. But the 33 are very very important. And in an effort to positively motivate the brothers and sisters, the Father has says, reward, reward um, accomplishment, you know, um, encouragement, the elders said, sweetens labor. So when we reward accomplishment, so those who are able, you understand, um, and, and know their 33, um, Fidel, and we'll explain exactly what we mean because it's a particular process that needs a procedure, it's an ancient procedure. And as we study it, we say, wow, no wonder there was high culture in ancient times when they followed this system, which is, which is scientific, which is, which, is, which is a spiritual system and which works. And it's what I and I is seeking to um, resurrect, so to speak amongst I and I, Yovas. So we're trying to take one step and basic steps at basic times. And even now, this is the 40th Shabbat, but before we get into the details of that, Yah has laid this on I and I hearts, you understand, to be able to share and communicate. So get your copy book. Get two or three of these books. This one is 100, um, the 100 sheets. It says 200 pages, I guess, back in front. This one seems a little bit thicker. You understand? Let me just show this right here. Mm -hmm. So this is what we did. We decorated a little bit. You understand? We decorated. This was um, about a shit institute. I think a uh, Beta Israel of Falasha group some years ago had a fly or something. So we just cut it and, and you know, taped it on here. This is from a 12 tribes, I think, dance, poster, His Majesty and the Family. So, you know, you can decorate your own book, you know, or you can keep it. This one was a book for the Asarat. We put the Asarat here, right, um, the tithes and, you know, like a copy book to, you know, to keep the information of that. But actually what we started, we use that more like for a business, as a business book, you understand certain works that we were doing, you know, um, in I and I trade or profession. Um, now, right here, 
article. This is this is still some of the stuff that's in it. You can see the Constitution. I mean, the um, Declaration is here, right? One of I and I, um, I, I Miros, right? The I Miros on the two sons is also featured there, right? Let's put this over here for a moment. Now, in the first page, you know, they have the chart here. Um, let's see if we can show this in another book. Okay, we could show this in this book. All right, you can see this right here. They, this has this sort of a chart here. Different books will have different, like, class charts. And some of this we're trying to develop also for I and I correspondence and for the disciples at the same time. You understand, but first we have to know what the content is, like the curriculum, what needs to be taught. All right, so that's from another book. But what we did in this particular book, you can see we put the good is, the good is chart right here. That's not all the 33, but then up close you can see where the new letters or the modifications come in in the side. We put some notes on the side right there. All right, so every time we open it to study it, and sometimes when we're studying things, we can use this as a quick, as a quick reference. This is a brother, an Ethiopian brother. We don't know what has become of him today, but this is Yosef. We allowed him to write in our book where he's asking questions. You know, we meet different Ethiopians. You know, we find out they can read or write, and if there will be of some assistance to I. You know, saying this is in many of I and I personal studies. You can see the date there it goes back to 1990. All right, so he was writing certain words here and, you know, certain discussion, his name, so forth, and so on. Yosef, or Joseph, his name, also seeing how different Ethiopians write. And then, as we use this particular book right here, let's see if we can show some. We had some of them Amharic, the Amharic lessons. This is some of I and I old Amharic writing, you know, you know, my first attempts at writing the language. You can see right here we're written. So this book was an Amharic book. This was for this book was dedicated to Amharic studies. You know, to Amharic studies. Um, you know, and some biblical verses, writing down certain biblical you know, some biblical verses in English catch your attention. So when you get a good Amharic Bible, and that's also another matter that we want to speak on too, as far as the Amharic Bible. This was February 1991 here, you know, February 1991. So this was like a, a, a study book, and then you can see over here, too, where we were practicing different letters and, and different sample words just, just to get the flow of it, all right, just to get the flow of it, you know, practicing certain sample letters over and over and over because there's a connection in learning between, between the hand and the intellect, even some matters on the tabernacle, how the Ethiopian tabernacle was circular. So we were studying that too, and you know, seeking to write it all down in Amharic, you know, utilizing the letters, so becoming more familiar with it, you understand, and therefore becoming more confident or ifident, as we would say, um, and therefore, by extension, faithful in I and I, in I and I study. So this. This this was this is an example on one level certain key phrases like right here, you know, and Degana. But this is like, you know, some of this writing when I look at my older writing, I'm not all happy with it. It looks to me a little bit sloppy, <laughs> you know. But you have to really overcome that state of mind and still do, because because you're not going to grow if you stagnate, if you if you browbeat so forth and so on. You're not going to grow like that. You have to kind of push past, you know, push past um, much of that. Now, even back here with some other pages, and then back here from a particular book, we put the Amharic modifications. As you can see right here, the, the letters being modified, the modifications to Amharic, the, the ciphers, the, the is ciphers, the numbers, so forth and so on. Put that down here and additional modifications right here so we like photocopied you know photocopied out of certain books you know and now we have things on the internet 
that we can print out too and we can put so this is actually in the back as you can see this is in the back of the book and then we put this on the cover you could decorate your cover you know what I mean as you please there's no hard and fast rules on that one can decorate it as they please and then this is a suggestion even today so have one particular book debtor have one particular debtor it will be good to have one particular debtor for um for your Amharic studies um in particular for studies for writing and you know practicing your writing so forth and so on of course we have published um an Amharic uh writing book um a practice writing book I and I sister wife to Hitna Wazero to Hitna Garma um Ite Hite I and I sister she's published that particular book and that is for the child the children and all of I and I so we didn't have those things at that time so even whether you get a copy and use that particular book photocopying some of the charts there which are good for children you know you get one book you can copy some of the charts there for your children even for yourself for the child and you so he says unless we humble I and I ourselves and be born again we will not enter into the kingdom of the King of Kings and his Christ so that is very very important so this is this is an example this is one example and like I said this is a, little, a small copy book right here and in the remaining time we have in this um, excerpt let me see if we can you know even one of the older flags one example of the older flag right here I think we even put you know right up on top at that time this is from an older book right here we we're studying up on the, the tribes um, even some Arabic you know some Arabic and Hebrew if you were to look through all of I and I copy books you'll find Arabic Hebrew Soretic Greek because these are all the languages of uh, first Corinthians chapter 14 even speaks more to it which was another another part of this particular teaching that we might not have opportunity to get into momentarily but you can check first Corinthians chapter 14 and this is why we began off we began off with a quote from first Corinthians chapter chapter um, 14 um, that was first Corinthians chapter 14 and 40 but the whole chapter is very very important because it shows well how the community how our gatherings in that sense should function with the reader who reads the Torah portion and those who can read even in them hark and one ones amongst one's congregation who can interpret this is why the discipleship is so very very important and it's, it's necessary that one's be guided and we're seeking may Jah uh, help us and may strengthen us to do our best in communicating his teachings faithfully and we pray that those of you who are willing receive it in the same and to share it with others who are able to receive it and be entrusted with this divine heritage of I and I one um, more point these are some of the cards now we have these cards right here, these kind of cue cards. I call them cue cards, where we have put a lot of, a lot of particular, you know, a lot of particular notes on the cue cards as well. You know, finding different means of, um, you know, different means of study and, you know, uh, communication of information you know but the cue cards I would not advise right now but they're good in some cases or the index cards to utilize some of the like this one right here where Christ teaches that was sent forth by twos sending forth by twos so you can see some of the basic verses there's some Amharic there from the Met of Caduce as well and these are personal originally they were personal notes but then in the overstanding now we are commissioned to go forward and to teach others so we can refer to many of our personal notes and that helps us when you've gone through the basic training then you're able to help other brothers and sisters who are coming forward you're able to have you know also the the mercy the understanding see some people don't have patience with others because 
maybe no one had patience with them, and they can't guide others because they have not got, been guided or have not, you know, they're not humble, you know, to this, and so they cannot really communicate to others, and that's essentially a function of the heart. This is why we say the initiation, the basic initiation is repentance and being born again. This right here also in some parts of Amharic speech, the hoi. Right? We say abatach and hoi. What is the hoi? We say gieta hoi. So this right here was to explain some of that as well. And just sharing some of this with I and I brothers and sisters, you know, selected notes, you know, on the different orders, the Kwanin, the Mesafin, the different orders, you know, what their functions are. So we use some of these to work out certain ideas as well, to work out certain ideas on the Khiruyan, the Ethiopic chorus right here, some of the additional um, notes and details from the Gu'uz Bible, the Khiruyan, the Khirui, you know, the Heru, the Ethiopic Heru, which are really the chosen. When the Bible speaks of mine elect and mine chosen, it's referring to the Cheruyan, or those who are, for lack of a better word, the Horuses. On other matters, remember the teaching we did on that, the, the so-called Illuminati Eye from the Scriptures? You know, so we have a little word pick, a little sketch there. So some of these also kind of help as well. So different ones study in different, in different ways. But the basic thing ones need to have is a couple of devoted debtors, um, study books, composition books, and also these, what I call these little small, these little small pocket-sized books as well. You understand? Where ones can keep, you know, certain, certain, certain notes, certain basic words in there, you know, basic ideas and basic words, you know, some basic studies right there, you know, some of that's in them hard. You know, as as you practice, you perfect. But so at least to have one of these you can carry around with you all the time. You know, especially for the brethren and sister and you can put it in your purse or your bag or, you know, um the fanny pack or whatever if one utilizes those can keep a little small notebook. You know what I'm saying? I mean that is Devoted for the inspirations of Jah. You know, saying the words of Jah. If you hear something, you could, you know, jot it down. So forth, so follow up on it later on. Maybe go into more of a, a study on it in this book. So one of these books, the big books, the composition debtors, should be for the Torah portion studies, writing the notes down from the weekly Torah portion studies. Another one should be for the Nibab bait or the Amharic literacy. In other words, for practicing, you know, the Amharic writing, so forth and so on. Uh, an, another notebook, at least for that. And one of these smaller books right here can be a ready book. Because sometimes I don't want to put the notes in here if, if I'm not sure about them yet. If it's like a, a, I'm still downloading spiritually. So I might put notes here. And then I'll, I'll refer to it again, sit down with this, and then go more into detail here or perhaps even on the computer. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's, it's very important that we recognize this analog. This is, this is great analog technology. Now, recently I've been using these kind of um, notebooks because some of them we've gotten as gifts, you know, some of these particular notebooks right here. And I've continued that process in these books right here. You know what I mean? So this is an excellent, because sometimes I'm looking over older books of one particular thing, and then you come across something, you'd be like, what? I wrote that? For real? And you'd be like, you mean I knew that then? <laughs> you know, that is the most interesting thing that happens. You'd be like, 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 especially if you have a date on it at the same time. And, and sometimes, like right here, if you look right here, this is from 3, um, this is from 3-3-12, three, three, um, or 3-3-3 three, three, three in a sense, right? And I write it in the margin, the date, you know, so other notes come in, you put other dates, you know, other dates to it, 
you know, some names, some ideas, and you get to work it out later on. But you also have to take the time to enjoy Jah's view. That's what the Shabbat is, in a sense. And this is what, um, you know, takes time to enjoy Jah's view and also to review what Jah has given to your view. Because sometimes we'll go through these notebooks, we'll put them away, you know, but we don't um, chew the cud, so to speak. We don't regurgitate, you know, as the clean animals regurgitate. I mean, sometimes go over these books again, just, just look through them, and, and, and if you get into that particular sort of practice, you know, you will find that there is very, very much that you can, you know, that you can learn from your own notes right there, as well as some key, you know, some key Hebrew, Hebrew, you know, in the Hebrew studies, the word, and sometimes the whole definition, the entire definition we would write down as well, you know, within the study book. Now, of course, for some people, they'll be like, well, you know, your hand will hurt a little bit. We as ancient Ethiopians, we have a, a, a saying, um, Yemai Sifu Ijoch Ainorum. And that means hands that don't write don't live, or they're not established. It's very, very important for I and I to develop I and I Amharic literacy and, and, and I and I study I and I study practices. So that was on I and I heart to to share and to communicate with you all because a few brethren um, that we're able to communicate a little more directly and, and I sent um, like what they call text messages and we've been in communication. I and I hail the I up and um, hopefully we'll communicate more directly when the time, you know, when the time is available. I and I give thanks even to I and I brother Wendem Manley, um, Wendem uh, Tovia, um, uh, you have uh, the different brothers and the different sisters, you know, who have um, been in regular communication. So it becomes more of I and I responsibility to communicate the purest and the most heartical teachings and the most strengthening things that can help other brothers and sisters. And we have to take that personal responsibility in I and I studies. We have to take the personal responsibility for all this knowledge, you know, because a lot of folks sit and receive the knowledge passively, you understand, instead of being more actively, you understand, instead of being more actively involved, you know, um, with, with writing it down, with putting it to paper, you understand, putting pen to paper. We have computers now, and for some of you all, it is difficult to send um, communication. Before, ones and ones had correspondence studies, and ones had to write. We have the brothers who are incarcerated, man and man who probably wasn't used to writing letters and didn't write many letters. They write I and I often, you understand, and it is, it is, it is very good, you understand, to communicate. We do well to not neglect the communication, you know, and so for the discipleship, we're seeking to put um, systems or procedures in place, perhaps electronically, perhaps once a month for disciples to, to write or to communicate and have a particular reserve, either email or a reserve, a reserve communication point, you know, send via the internet and perhaps also uh, once a month at least, um, call conferencing for the disciples. And should there be many disciples in a certain area who are willing in the spirit and the truth of his majesty in Christ to work together, that can establish a good churchical foundation. You know what I'm saying? We need to build up on our divine heritage. First is the so-called religious or spiritual education in our Ethiopian order. And then is the secular. Most of us have gotten secular from the very beginning and have not gotten any spiritual, true spiritual, the ritual hymenal, the correct faith, 
the proper faith, the right faith-based teachings and education is the key. And each of us must take personal responsibility. And, and that begins with reading and writing, reading and reasoning, reasoning, reading and rising so that we can individually and collectively rise to this prophetic occasion that we are in and that point that we are coming to, all right, in creation. So my brothers and sisters, with that being said, we're going to um, take a little pause for the cause and we're going to come forward with more on this particular sabbatical, um, this particular Shabbat portion. So stay tuned. Shalom. <laughs> 